sweet sticky details. Hey there, so Jordan. many stingers up right now. So That's many. right. We went from the backyard to the classroom. That's right, because we are making honey right here cool. on the campus of Stack State University. Check it out. So this oh is God. the process that we're going to take you through. So what we saw earlier in the first hour were uh, actually so us cool. taking those beehives that those thousands of bees work hard. They put the honey in here. So right now you are seeing the knifing process. So there's actually scraping off all the wax. Mm -hmm. And then right behind that, you can see in the honeycomb is all the honey. So it's a pretty interesting project uh, and a process right now. they got a whole bunch to go through, so they're still in the process of doing their first batch here. Again, this is their second harvest of the year. So after that, it goes to the next step, which is right over my shoulder here. This is the extraction process. As you can see right here, we are actually getting the honey out. So tell us what is going on here. and. How long does this process take? Yes, yeah, so this is a centrifuge and it's using centrifugal force to gently extract the honey out of the comb. We want to go at a gentle speed as to not damage the comb because we'll return that to the hive and the bees can reuse it and not have to start from scratch. And this process, it takes oh, several minutes or so and we can fit three frames in here. So you guys are going really, really slow and the honey sort of seeps through and comes out from that side so it's right. it's a pretty natural process yes absolutely you know there's a uh, fi filtering and then it goes straight to jarring so this is as raw <laughs> and natural as it gets <laughs> and this is incredible and guess who you know guess who's doing all of it it's students here this is part of their food production and sustainability class now after that these students are actually helping the bees out they're cleaning some of the the boxes here after that it goes to some bottling now they're still in the process this is their very first uh, sort of step here so after that, it gets bottled up. They're going to get about, I'd say, 200 bottles. They get some labels on there. And then the finished product is right here. Hornet Honey. Check it out. And that is Professor uh, Kelly there. So excited to have all of you guys come out here. What a wonderful way to not only get students involved, but get folks in the public to support something that you guys are doing right here on campus, right? Correct. So where can we get it? How can folks get out here and, and purchase some Hornet Honey? So anybody who would like to order honey can go to the sustainability um, website and place an email to them and ask for however many jars you would like. Um, and it's at sustainability at csus.edu. There we go. Well, congratulations to all of you. Again, a big round of applause to all of the students back there from their production class doing hard work. And of nice. course, we got to thank all of the honeybees for getting and putting all the work there so that we can enjoy <laughs> something so sweet right here from Sac State. Hornet Honey, go get yours. I love that I got name. mine. I do too. Happy Aloha Friday, everybody. Aloha. Thank you. Hey, honey. <laughs>